All right, guys, so what we're gonna be doing here is showing you how to replace the LCD top unit panel, uh, which controls the throttle input, the brake input, and the headlight on the scooter. So before we go in and show you how to do the replacement, just wanna show you how these different components line up. Got your throttle here, plugs into your white five pin Molex connector, your brake cable here, three pin Molex connector, the reason why it plugs in through the LCD panel is the e-brake is activated by a sensor within the brake handle. So that's why we run this through a digital signal. Last thing is the connection to the controller. So that runs through a haul cable all the way down. You can see here down to the controller. So I have this set up with the motor and everything intact, including the battery, just to have it powered on. So yeah, it's a good way to test your LCD outside of the top unit housing. You can basically have all the functionality that you normally would if it was assembled within the scooter, including the last piece, which is the headlight. Great, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take an old defective top unit, an LCD that's no longer working, and we're gonna replace it with this new LCD here. And unplug the throttle cable, unplug the headlight, unplug the brake handle, and the haul cable. So once I got the top unit that I'm going to be repairing, I already took the throttle off this one, uh, but on the reverse side, we're also going to have to take off the brake. It's a five millimeter hex for this should slide out fairly easily. You also have these three millimeter hex bolts here that will have to come out to slide the plastic covering off. In most cases, you could probably leave the headlight on, but just for illustration purposes, I'm gonna remove this as well. Five millimeter hex on these as well. This actually will slide right out after you loosen those up. And the uh, connection point is actually right here. So I'm gonna take this off. And once you have the throttle and the brake handle off, you can go in and remove the panel. I'm actually gonna slide this off too though so I can fully disconnect the brake handle. And then the connectors to the brake handle and the throttle can both be accessed through this interior groove. That's the piece that's gonna go directly into the top unit. But we're gonna be replacing all these cables as we swap this piece out. So this is mounted in here just by a couple Phillips head screws. Yeah, a P1 or P2 screwdriver should do the trick for removing these. Pull the throttle cable through here. And the haul cable line, this red one will need to come out. Lastly, the brake and the headlight.
All right, so now I have the LCD completely removed here. And I'm gonna seat the new LCD back inside. Basically the same way that I put this in, but first, really important, I wanna run all of the right connector cables in the right position before I screw this in. So it doesn't really matter where you start. I think I'm gonna probably run the, uh, the throttle and brake lines first. Um, you just wanna make sure you have it matched up in the right orientation. So this is gonna be the orientation that the user will see. All right, so you want the battery status indicator up top like this. So first one I'm gonna run is this throttle cable, red, green, yellow, blue, and black. It's gonna go down into the handlebar shaft. Next one I'll run is the um, brake handle line. That's gonna go down the left side of the handlebar shaft. And then next I can run the haul cable line, which is gonna go right down the center. And then it might help to have a pair of needle nose pliers because you'll have to grab this haul cable out of this center position and pull it through the opening because that's where we're gonna install the controller hall cable line. All right, and then the last one is gonna be the brake. This one's probably the trickiest. It's gonna go down and then right through this bottom groove here. I'm gonna pull that one out first and actually run it through after I have this LCD screwed into place. Um, one thing when you are placing the LCD on the screen here, you're gonna wanna make sure all these cables are out of the way of the panel so you don't obstruct the view. Take this plastic protective layer off. All right, so I got this seated. You wanna double check the top, make sure no wires are in the way of the screen, especially before you screw it down into place. Okay, great. So just to speed this video along, I'm not gonna do the rest, but there are three more screws on the bottom here. And I think the last step we still need to do is get this uh, headlight 
line down through the bottom, which again is pretty tricky, but I'm gonna come in here with a pair of needle nose pliers and try to get it seated right through this opening that's gonna come out on the other side here. Once you got this out, you can pull that through. That's gonna to attach to the headlight. If the headlight's fine, you can reattach the same one. It slides right in here. Your throttle is gonna come through here. Remember to put this piece on though, this is gonna go against the spring. And usually you would wanna tape these up with some electrical tape just to keep those Molex connectors intact. Gonna slide right up through this groove. Try to line the cables of the throttle up on the bottom opening of this plastic cover. And you can slide both the throttle and the cover down at the same time. Gotta be careful that all these wires are kind of securely inside the handlebar stem. And once you have that on, you can go ahead and reattach the throttle. Three millimeter bolt here. Same thing with the handlebar and the brake. I'm gonna slide this over first with the opening on the exterior. Throw a little electrical tape on this uh, brake handle here. Slide this in. It's gonna come over top. Same thing, we can go ahead and Try to get this tucked up as far as we can into the handlebar stem. And then we go ahead and put this uh, securing bolt back in place. All right, and then this can just come back on. You can kind of adjust however you'd like positioning to be. But apart from that, the last thing we're gonna do is install the cover back over top of this. So it's got six screws that secure this in place, these little Phillips head. Screws.
Once you got all the screws in, probably a good idea to just plug everything back in, power it on before you install it onto the scooter to make sure everything works. Last thing, make sure you tighten these back down as well. This will hold the headlight back in place for you. All right, thanks for watching.